Welcome to our video series on the history of the Cuban Thaw. In this first segment, we will explore the background and events leading up to this historic period of improved relations between the United States and Cuba. So let's dive right in. The Cuban Thaw refers to the significant shift in diplomatic relations between the United States and Cuba that began in December 2014. However, to truly understand the Cuban Thaw, we must first look back at the complex history between these two nations. The Cuban Revolution, led by Fidel Castro, took place in 1959, overthrowing the U.S.-backed dictator Fulgencio Batista. This marked a turning point in Cuba's history, as Castro's government implemented socialist policies and nationalized industries, including those owned by American companies. Tensions escalated further in 1961, when the United States supported an unsuccessful invasion of Cuba known as the Bay of Pigs. This event further strained relations between the two countries, leading to the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962, a 13-day standoff that brought the world to the brink of nuclear war. During the Cold War, Cuba became a close ally of the Soviet Union, leading to the installation of Soviet nuclear missiles on the island. This move sparked intense fear and hostility from the United States, resulting in a decades-long economic embargo and a freeze in diplomatic relations. Over the years, thousands of Cubans fled the country, seeking refuge in the United States. These Cuban exiles, many of whom settled in Florida, formed a powerful political lobby that advocated for a tough stance against the Castro regime. Fast forward to 2008, when Barack Obama was elected as the 44th President of the United States. During his campaign, Obama promised a new approach towards Cuba, emphasizing engagement and dialogue instead of isolation. In 2014, President Obama and Cuban President Raul Castro announced simultaneous decisions to restore diplomatic relations between their country. This marked a historic turning point in the relationship between the United States and Cuba, leading to what is now known as the Cuban Thaw. In the next segment, we will explore the key events and policy changes that characterize the Cuban Thaw. Stay tuned for an in-depth look at this fascinating period in history. Welcome back to our video series on the history of the Cuban Thaw. In this second segment, we will explore the key events and policy changes that characterize this historic period of improved relations between the United States and Cuba. The Cuban Thaw began in December 2014, when President Barack Obama and Cuban President Raul Castro announced simultaneous decisions to restore diplomatic relations between their countries. This marked a significant shift in the relationship between the two nations, leading to a series of policy changes and historic events. One of the first major changes was the reopening of embassies in Havana and Washington, D.C. This move allowed for direct communication between the two governments and facilitated increased travel and trade between the United States and Cuba. High-level officials from both countries began meeting regularly to discuss a range of issues, including human rights, drug trafficking, and environmental concerns. These meetings paved the way for further cooperation and collaboration between the two nations. In March 2016, President Obama became the first sitting U.S. president to visit Cuba in nearly 90 years. During his visit, he met with President Castro and delivered a historic speech to the Cuban people, emphasizing the importance of engagement and co the two nations between the two nations. The Cuban Thor also had a significant impact on sports and cultural exchanges between the United States and Cuba. For the first time in decades, U.S. and Cuban athletes competed together in international competitions and cultural exchanges flourished, allowing for greater understanding and appreciation of each other's culture. Perhaps the most symbolic moment of the Cuban thaw occurred in August 2015 when the U.S. flag was raised over the newly reopened embassy in Havana. This historic moment signaled a new era of cooperation and friendship between the United States and Cuba. In the next segment, we will explore the impact of the Cuban thaw on the people of Cuba and the United States. 
Stay tuned for an in-depth look at the human side of this fascinating period in history. Welcome back to our video series on the history of the Cuban Four. In this third segment, we will explore the impact of this historic period on the people of Cuba and the United States. The Cuban Four brought about significant changes and opportunities for both Cubans and Americans. Let's take a closer look at some of the key aspects of this impact. One of the most noticeable effects of the Cuban Thaw was the increase in travel between the United States and Cuba. With the easing of travel restrictions, more Americans were able to visit Cuba, experiencing its rich culture, vibrant cities, and beautiful landscapes firsthand. The Cuban thaw also opened up new economic opportunities for the people of Cuba. As the United States relaxed trade restrictions, Cuban entrepreneurs and small business owners saw a surge in American tourists, leading to the growth of private businesses in sectors such as hospitality, transportation, and arts and crafts and crafts. Another significant impact of the Cuban thaw was the improvement in Internet access in Cuba. As part of the diplomatic efforts, the United States worked with Cuban authorities to expand internet connectivity on the island, allowing for greater access to information and communication for the Cuban people. Cultural exchanges between the United States and Cuba flourished during the Cuban thaw. Artists, musicians and performers from both countries had the opportunity to collaborate and showcase their talents, fostering a deeper understanding and appreciation of each other's cultural heritage. Educational collaborations between Cuban and American institutions also thrived during this period. Students and scholars from both countries engaged in academic exchanges, research partnerships and joint programs, enriching the educational landscape and promoting cross-cultural learning. The Cuban thaw also facilitated healthcare collaborations between the United States and Cuba, Medical professionals from both countries worked together on research projects, shared expertise, and collaborated on public health initiatives benefiting the people of both nations. The Cuban thaw had a profound impact on the lives of the people of Cuba and the United States. In the next segment, we will explore the challenges and setbacks faced during this period as well as the current state of relations between the two nations. Stay tuned for the final part of our video series on the history of the Cuban Thaw.